Hello everyone. Welcome and good day. My name is Policranio A. Dorio Jr., a college faculty. This video discusses foodborne illnesses as part of the risk management as applied to safety, security and sanitation. This is purely an instructional video. The objectives. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to 1. Describe the common symptoms of foodborne illnesses. 2. Apply food safety, hygiene and sanitation at home and in the workplace. Foodborne illness is brought about by eating and drinking contaminated and spoiled food items. It is an ailment brought about by eating nourishments that have destructive microbial life forms defiled through surfaces to food items from buying to utilization or consumption. These destructive germs can incorporate microscopic organisms, parasites, and infections. They are generally found in crude meat, chicken, fish, and eggs, however they can spread to a food. They can likewise develop on food that is forgotten about on counters or outside or is put away excessively well before you eat it. Sometimes foodborne ailment happens when individuals don't wash their hands before they contact food. Most of the time, foodborne ailment is gentle and disappears following a couple of days. But a few kinds of foodborne disease might be more genuine, and you may need to see a specialist. Other common food items associated with foodborne illness. Raw nourishments of creature cause, that is, crude meat and poultry, crude eggs, unpasteurized milk, and crude shellfish are the well on the way to be tainted. Fruits and vegetables can likewise be polluted with creature squander when fertilizer is utilized to treat produce in the field, or messy water is utilized for washing the produce. Raw sprouts are especially concerning on the grounds that the conditions under which they are grown are ideal for developing organisms. Unpasteurized natural product juices or juice can likewise be tainted if there are microorganisms on the natural product that is utilized to make it. Any food thing that is moved by an individual who is sick with regurgitating or loose bowels, or who has as of late had such an ailment, can get defiled. Common Symptoms of Foodborne Illness 1. Nausea Nausea or queasiness is the impression of a desire to upchuck. Nausea or queasiness can be intense and fleeting, or it tends to be delayed. Nausea or queasiness likewise might be brought about by maladies of numerous organs outside of the gastrointestinal framework. Nausea or queasiness manifestations are habitually hard for individuals to portray. Nausea manifestations are not agonizing but rather truly awkward sentiments that are felt in the chest, upper midsection, or back of the throat. How to control the sickness? Common home solutions for queasiness and heaving incorporate devouring clear liquids like water, regardless of whether the individual isn't parched. 2. Vomiting. Spewing is a side effect of a fundamental ailment instead of a particular ailment itself. Spewing is the coercive discharging of the stomach where the stomach needs to defeat the weights that are ordinarily set up to keep food and emissions inside the stomach. Reasons for retching are changed and incorporate foodborne ailments, contaminations, issues with the cerebrum and focal sensory system, and fundamental, body-wide ailments. Over-the-counter meds to quit retching is accessible. They may help ensure the stomach lining and diminish heaving brought about by food contamination. 3. Abdominal pain. Stomach torment is torment that you feel any place between your chest and crotch. This is frequently alluded to as the stomach district or paunch. Nearly everybody has torment in their paunch at some time. More often than not, a genuine clinical issue isn't the reason, and how awful your torment is doesn't generally mirror the reality of the issue causing your agony. The significant thing to think about stomach torment is the point at which you need prompt clinical consideration. Less genuine purposes of stomach torment incorporate clogging, peevish inside condition, food hypersensitivities, lactose prejudice, food contamination, and a stomach infections. Take note of some considerations. Nearly everybody has torment in the mid-region eventually. More often than not, it isn't not kidding. How awful your torment is doesn't generally mirror the reality of the condition causing the agony. For instance, you may have extremely awful stomach torment on the off chance that you have gas or stomach squeezes because of viral gastroenteritis. Less genuine purposes of stomach torment include a. Constipation b. Irritable entrail condition c. Food sensitivities or prejudice, for example, lactose narrow-mindedness d. Food harming 
e stomach influenza you can attempt the accompanying home consideration steps to ease mellow stomach torment a sip water or other clear liquids b you may have sports drinks in modest quantities c people with diabetes must check their glucose regularly and modify their drugs varying d avoid strong nourishment for the initial scarcely any hours e if you have been retching hold up six hours and afterward eat limited quantities of mellow nourishments for example rice fruit puree or saltines f avoid dairy items g if the torment is high up in your midsection and happens after suppers acid neutralizers may help particularly in the event that you feel indigestion or heartburn h avoid citrus high fat nourishments seared or oily nourishments tomato items caffeine liquor and carbonated drinks 4. diarrhea diarrhea is an expansion in the recurrence of defecations an increment in the detachment of stool or both Diarrhea is brought about by expanded emission of liquid into the digestive system, decreased assimilation of liquid from the digestive tract or quick entry of stool through the digestive system. Symptoms related with looseness of the bowels incorporate stomach torment, particularly squeezing. Different manifestations rely upon the reason for the loose bowels. Diarrhea might be either intense or ongoing, and each has various causes and therapies. Complications of loose bowels incorporate parchedness, electrolyte mineral irregularities, and bothering of the butt. Key measures to forestall loose bowels incorporates a. Access to safe drinking water b. Use of improved disinfection c. Hand washing with cleanser d. Exclusive breastfeeding for the initial a half year of life e. Good individual and food cleanliness 5. Headache Headache or head torment now and again can be hard to portray, yet some basic side effects incorporate pounding, pressing, steady, tenacious, or discontinuous. The area might be in one aspect of the face or skull, or might be summed up including the entire head. The head is one of the most well-known locales of agony in the body. Headache may emerge suddenly or might be related with movement or exercise. It might have an intense beginning or it might be constant in nature with or without scenes of expanding seriousness. Headache is regularly connected with sickness and spewing. This is particularly evident with headache cerebral pains. 6. Muscle cramp. A muscle cramp is a solid, excruciating constriction or fixing of a muscle that goes ahead unexpectedly and keeps going from a couple of moments to a few minutes. Causes of muscle cramps. A. Not having enough potassium, calcium, and different minerals in your blood. B. Being got dried out, which implies that your body has lost an excessive amount of liquid. C. Exposure to cold temperatures, particularly to cold water. How might you stop a muscle cramp when it occurs? A. Stretch and back rub the muscle. B. Take a warm shower or shower to loosen up the muscle. C. A warming cushion put on the muscle can likewise help. D. Try utilizing an ice or cold pack. E. Always keep a fabric between your skin and the ice pack. F. Take an over-the-counter agony medication. G. Be safe with medications. 7. Dehydration. Drying out happens when you utilize or lose more liquid than you take in, and your body needs more water and different liquids to do its ordinary capacities. In the event that you don't supplant lost liquids, you will get dried out. Anybody may get dried out, yet the condition is particularly perilous for little youngsters and more seasoned grown-ups. Lack of hydration likewise can happen in any age gathering in the event that you don't drink enough water during blistering climate particularly in the event that you are practicing overwhelmingly. Side Effects of Lack of Hydration A. Thirst isn't generally a solid early pointer of the body's requirement for water. B. Numerous individuals, especially more seasoned grown-ups, don't feel parched until they're as of now got dried out. C. That is the reason it's essential to expand water admission during blistering climate or when you're sick. I wish that you were able to learn the lessons. Ensure to practice safety sanitation at home and in the workplace for the goodness of everyone. If you have any additional ideas or clarifications, please post your comment at the comment section below. Again, don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified for the next lessons. Thank you very much and God bless.